So once you've recorded your piano chords and your bass guitar, we need to duplicate section A. Our project is going to start with section A, two bars, then section B is six bars, and then it finishes with section C, which is just a copy of section A on the end. So go along to the end of your ruler and tap the plus sign. Tap on section A to choose that section and turn it grey. And then down at the bottom, tap Duplicate. And now you should have section A, two bars, section B, six bars, and section C, two bars as well. Okay? So you can tap anywhere to come out of that menu. And let's just go to our tracks view and check that we have all of the parts that we need so far. So up in the top left hand corner, that's the brick wall button. We need to select all sections, so we'll tap on the plus sign to select all sections and then tap anywhere to come out of that. And now you can see that you've got two small bits of piano and bass, two larger chunks, that's your section B, and then you should have these two shorter ones on the end. And we've still got these headphones on at the moment, which is why our piano track is grey, so we can tap the headphones to turn those off. And now all of our recording is there in green. Now we're going to add a drum track. So if we go up to the top left to the instrument browser, the big square with the two smaller squares, and scroll along until you find drummer. And if you tap on acoustic, that will give you this view here with Kyle the drummer in the middle. And that automatically adds Kyle playing throughout your piece of music. So if you now go back up to the tracks view, the bricks, and you should see this. You've now got your two green layers and you're drumming your yellow layer, and they're all filling the space from letter A, number one, right up to number 10 at the end here, okay? 